Hello, this is Eric Meeks, uh, looking uh, to show you this morning a great, beautiful, little, well, it's not even that little, it's 1,700 square feet and change. This is a four bedroom home in Palm Desert, Central Palm Desert, close to the Palm Desert Mall, close to College of the Desert, walking distance to Starbucks and El Paseo. Uh, you could put a, a golf bag over your shoulder and go to the, uh, go to the community driving range over at College of the Desert. This is in one of the best locations I can find a home of this price. It's shocking to me how nice it is. You're going to see as we go through it. So let's take a moment, as I always do, and do a quick pan of the neighborhood. Now, this is what I refer to as a blue-collar neighborhood in Palm Desert. But blue-collar in Palm Desert is white-collar in many, many other neighborhoods. You're going to see the occasional work truck here in this neighborhood. Okay, but this is also... I say it's just it's a fantastic place if I would live here in this home and and it would be perfectly all right here we got uh, one of the neighbors going by there nice lifted four by four looks like a pretty new f-250 let's go inside and take a look at the house okay notice that you've got a lot of driveway space so if you have an extra car or if you need that extra room to get out because you're loading and unloading stuff from the back of your own truck you've got room to do it it's a two-car garage you're gonna see it but it's a larger than normal two-car garage we've got a little bit of like custom landscaping here with the white rock and some really good plants these are rose bushes right now they don't even all have uh, uh, flowers on them some of them are looking a little dry but these would be beautiful if they were manicured and taken care of. The lawn is a little long right now, but really nice color of green. You've got a walkway going around to this side of the house over here. That's where I remember the trash cans were and stuff. You know, the stucco on the house is all new. The windows in the house are all new and double pane. The roof is newer. Um, it's, it's a nice uh, kind of southwest red tile, Spanish tile sort of thing. Over on this side of the house, you got another nice, you know, uh, gate. You notice the fence in the back is cinder block, so it's a good solid fence. We've got some uh, sprinklers that are not used here on the side of the house, so if you want to do some additional landscaping and put some plants of your choice in, you could do that. You enter the house through these nice double set of doors, okay? Wait till you see this. Let the camera adjust. Wood floors in a large open room concept okay with bay windows going out to the front yard a fireplace and a ceiling fan large windows with that curved clara story type window up above and a kitchen that set off with its own tile work next to the wood and a lowered ceiling with sunken lights beautiful the countertops in the kitchen let's go ahead and start right there countertop is all granite countertops through here a lot of space you've got an island out here you can put your kids up to it on bar stools to eat their cereal in the morning still leave room for your dining room table over there and your living room over here with your big screen tv above the fireplace okay it's all here ready for you you've got uh, pantry cabinets right there with some overhead storage over here you put your glasses and your dishes and your bowls and your blenders and stuff like that plenty of room for everything more uh, dishes and stuff over here you've got a double sink okay with one of these always like one of those woohoo okay coming out and there uh, we've got a dishwasher that's built in okay you are going to need to get your own fridge but what a huge amount of space here another ceiling fan and lights over your dining room table this is a classy house and because of the location of this house if I lived here, I know my kids would be going to either Abraham Lincoln Elementary School or Washington Charter Elementary School. I'm not sure which one it is that this one qualifies for, but it's one of the two. Abraham Lincoln is a nine in state rankings. Washington Charter is a 10. So your elementary school kids immediately go to the best schools in the valley. The junior high one goes to Palm Desert Charter Middle School. Again, top ranked in the valley. I think it's a nine statewide, but I don't think anybody goes beyond it. And then Palm Desert High, which again is a nine in state rankings. It's amazing. Now to our left here as we go into the main hall area, we have a laundry room. Okay, right there. It's tile on the floor. Okay. We have both gas and electric, so you can have either one for your washer and dryer. In the garage, the floor is cement and it's been painted, but a nice, just 
kind of gray paint. It is finished off. It could use a little freshening up out here. Maybe even uh, some paint redone here. That looks like a, uh, it's probably the original heater for the home and it probably needs to be cleaned up around the base of it. But I bet it works fine because the builder who did the rest of this to the house it looks like they did a great job. The hot water heater looks newer. Okay, right there, as a matter of fact, it looks new. I shouldn't say newer, it looks new. Both of them are gas, so that's gonna help keep your electric bills down. You've got a window coming into the garage, giving you a little bit of light without even turning a light on. But notice that you've got about three or four feet of space there on that side of the garage and over there. So if you have a lot of gardening tools, if you have a lot of landscaping equipment, if you just have a lot of stuff and you need to put out shelves or storage or cabinets or whatever, you can do that in this garage, have your bicycles in here and still have room for two cars. This is a nice garage. There's even a couple of cabinets up along this side right here for you to start collecting your stuff with. Okay, so here's what we go through. Let's go back into the house. Shut that behind me, excuse me. These wood floors continue throughout the home. Just about every room, I think. It's either tile or wood in every room. Nice size bedroom right here. This is probably 10 or 12 feet square. It's something like that. Plenty of room for a queen bed or definitely a kid if they wanted to sleep in a uh, twin size. Uh, about six to eight feet of closet there, okay? And you've got a couple of angles here coming in so you can have like your nice cool your Wolverine poster, whatever you like as a kid going up there or if you wanted to have an adult room for a guest right there you would have I don't know, some sort of painting maybe something like Georgia O'Keeffe and have some nice flowers or something like that in the guest bathroom double vanity the tile cabinets uh, tile countertops and, and wood grain cabinets continue you have a full length mirror right here recess light that's not recess light but it's a uh, I don't know what kind of light it is but good lights okay that are right up above you a medicine cabinet to our left. Hey, th there's a good looking guy. Nice to see you. Okay, and then over here you've got a tub shower combination. Uh, taller than average where they put the shower head. Somebody thought ahead there. So some guy six feet tall or more could take a nice shower in here. That would really work. And then the toilet, of course. So you could shut that door so the people in the shower the toilet could have their privacy. And those who needed to brush their teeth could still get to what they need to do. Second bedroom, about the same size as the first. I want to say 10 or 11 feet square. It seems a little bit longer than it is wide, but uh, that's fine. And while we're looking at a cinder block view out here, at least there's a lot of sunshine coming in out of this. And as you come close to the window, you would see the sky up above. Nice tree-line shots there. And the wall is probably six feet high, so it's tall enough that your neighbors are not going to be looking into your yard. Again, uh, this one's definitely about six feet of closet space right there um also i like the molding you know, i didn't comment on that yet molding throughout the house is kind of a wider molding i like the white paint and the uh, coffee tones that are done through it it's, it's nice now the master bedroom large room this is good okay this is probably 15 to 18 feet squared 16 to 18 feet squared you've got a nice sliding glass door going out into the backyard to the patio area Good view here on a south facing window. Okay, so bring in extra light there. You could wake up in the morning and definitely be seeing uh, sunshine and mountains. Today it's kind of a hazy day. I can barely pick up the mountains over there in South Palm Desert that are through it. And I can see kind of a corner of a mountain off in a distance, off in that direction. But uh, if it were a clearer day, you'd be able to see it too. Tile in the bathroom. Double vanity, granite countertops, wood, wood cabinets continuing. An even longer full-length mirror. That good-looking guy keeps following us around. I'm going to have to talk to him eventually. Okay, and again, the uh, lights up over the top. Okay, so plenty of room in here. A walk-in closet. Uh, good size. Probably about 5 feet by 7 feet. Something like that. I guess there's a little area over here too. Okay, so there's where you put your shoes or your hats or your stuff that... You know, you don't maybe need all the time over here. You're going to put your uh, long coats and dresses and then your sacks and jackets. Uh, slacks and jackets. Sacks and jackets. Okay. Over in here we have a tub shower combination, but a deeper, larger soaking tub. Okay, with the shower head over here put in. This is kind of a combo kit, but nice quality on it. And uh, the bathroom, everything's clean and white, and you got the toilet over on this side. So... Nice home. Everything. Granite countertops, dark wood floors, tile in the bathrooms and the kitchens where you want it, laundry room, tile also. 
uh, four bedrooms, two full baths. Okay, both bathrooms have a tub even. Let's go out back and take a look. Okay, no pool at this one. Let me get a little overspray in the window. It needs to be cleaned off. But uh, nothing's perfect in here. Nice big patio area. Okay, this is probably 30 to 35 feet wide, maybe 25 foot deep. Okay, on this here. And it runs along the side of the house. I mean, I'll tell you, that's wide enough that if somebody wanted to redo that and make it eligible for a uh, RV, they could possibly do it. It gets a little narrow there for an RV, maybe around the back of the fireplace. But something could be done. If nothing else, it's a great place for the trash cans and bicycles to sit, okay, so they don't have to clog up the garage. The backyard, we got a couple of trees here. I think these are fruit trees. Yeah, that one I can see little things. Probably limes on it, I'm guessing. Um, this one here, I don't see the fruit yet, but that is a type of fruit tree. Uh, they maybe have been underwatered this season, so they need that in order to revive the fruit. But those are definitely fruit trees, some sort of citrus, okay, that is on them. A lot of grass back here, plenty of room for a dog to run around, okay. Notice we have the cinder block wall all the way around, so you're not going to have any problems here with the quality of your fencing falling down over the years. Over on this side here, we have the air conditioning unit. It looks like somebody had direct TV once upon a time. Okay, so we've got that for the house, probably a... Uh, 4,000 ton AC unit there. Um, yeah. Then the gate going off to the side. It's a nice property. I'll tell you, especially for only 289000 i got to find a buyer for this. I hope you watching it right now think that this is for you. Because this is a steal. If you want your kids to go in the best school district, if you want to be able to walk, ride a bike, or drive, and literally only minutes away from the best that Palm Desert had to, has to offer in shopping, education, or just relaxation, this is it, okay? And after you enjoy the, the benefits of this house, if you wanted to, you could put a renter in here and they will pay you a decent dollar for this house for those very same reasons because there's so few properties of this kind of condition in an affordable neighborhood for the average family. So there you have it. This is Eric Meeks. I love this house on Santa Rosa, and I hope you do too. Give me a call, please. My number is 760-567-7646. This is Eric Meeks. Thank you for your time.